So I'm wondering how to take what I already know how to do with these creative projects, like books and screenplays and things like that, and have just an easier time getting what I want the way that I want it, or even better than I imagine it in other areas of my life. Yeah, and I think, you know, that quest, that journey never ends. Because there's always going to be some areas of our life that we're maybe deeply satisfied with. And there's always going to be areas of our lives where we want more. Right? Mm -hmm. And the areas in our lives that aren't quite where we want them to be are the areas of our lives that give us the most amount of opportunity, right? The most am amount of opportunity for growth, the most amount of opportunity for expansion, the most amount of opportunity to identify and work through where it is that we're giving our power away. So, hmm. Yes, I understand that as humans, we want, you know, all aspects and all puzzle pieces of our reality to be in place. However, I don't think we came here for that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our next conversation today, the first thing she brought up was the idea of, of choice points and becoming better choosers of our frequencies. And it was interesting because my intent coming into the channeling with her was, okay, source, I want you to deliver the message that we want or that you want or that we all need to hear the most. And then the first part of the call, the first half of the call was about choice points and being more deliberate choosers of our frequencies. And at first I was like, this really of all things, this is something that most of us have probably already heard before. But the fact that that was the message that came through was a very telling message that we are all sloppy thinkers and we are all slopper, sloppy choosers of frequency. And this would not have been the message from source who if I need to remind you all, is infinitely intelligent if it wasn't extremely important to deliver. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, tomorrow on our call, uh, tomorrow's the members only call in Zoom meetings. And the focus of that call tomorrow is we are going to do some work around intention setting, how to do proper intention setting, how to become more deliberate in our choice points, uh, and we're going to do some calibration to future self stuff. Mm -hmm. So again, it's a very, what people would call a simple topic, but just because something is simple does not mean that um, it's unimportant and it doesn't mean that it's been mastered. Mm -hmm. So in response to your question of how do I find mastery in the aspects of my reality that I have not yet found mastery in, mm -hmm. I would say the first step is exploring potential areas of sloppy thinking around those topics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. And Nick, I'll, I'll say one thing that I, I've learned from my time in the, the collective from you is with contrast to, to, um, to see it a little differently, that it doesn't necessarily mean I'm, I've lost my way or that I need to recalibrate something. Sometimes contrast is the quickest way to get me to where I actually want to go to. And so I appreciate you saying that these areas that aren't happening as easily for me may be opportunities to really become more of myself. And so love that. Uh, thank you. And then my, my last question is a practical one. Um, I missed the top of the call. Uh, I was trying to figure out the new platform. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Um, but, uh, uh, and I wasn't on the, the call closer to the holidays. I, I would love, is there a link I can go to to find out more about your new, what your, the new thing that you're offering? Um, 
and also to find the recording for this today. I think you had mentioned it. Yeah, so be- this, this, this recording for this call will be at live.nickbro.com for 24 hours. Okay. And for the offerings for 2023, um, live.nickbro.com slash 2023. Okay, thank you so much. Um, thank you as always, and Happy New Year. That was really awesome. Great. great to see you again.